Hello, this is Brother Cromart from the Maths Party, and this is a supplement of the videos dealing with two proportion, uh, the test for inference or two proportion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first talk about how you're going to do data entry in SPSS, followed up by weight cases, and then we'll do pie charts and then we'll do bar charts. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a data set or problems from one of these uh, what we did in the, in the regular videos. I'm going to take this one here with the PTC. So out of 66 females, 51 can taste PTC. And out of 52 males, 38 can taste PTC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new data set here. And what I'm going to do is now what the goal is is to have three columns. Um, there's going to be the, the, popu or the two populations, that column then the yes-no column, and then the counts. So first of all, so going back to this, I can find the problem here. Going back to this problem, there's two, two groups. There's males and there's females. So I'm going to type in females first, a female. Then I'll type in female again, because there's going to be a yes-no response for each of those. Then I'll type in male, and then I'll do it again for males. Okay. So then there's two possible responses, whether they can or they cannot taste PPC. So I'm going to type in yes and no, and then yes, and then no for males, okay? And then for the counts, I'm going to say out of 51, 66 can taste PTC, so I'll type that in there, 51 can taste PTC. But I'm not going to type in 66 here, it's the no, so it's 66 minus 15, 51, so that would be 15. And for the males, it would be 38 out of 52, so it would be 38 here, that would be the yeses. But then we take the difference between 38 and 52, and that would be 14, okay? So I'm going to just call these variable names here. These are generic variable names in SPSS, but I'm going to call this a gender. I'll call this PPC, and then I'll just call this count. Okay, so that's how we input the information. And you're going to need this and do this this way in order for you to create bar charts or pie charts in SPSS, okay? So the next item I want to mention is, is weight cases, and you've seen weight cases before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do data weight, uh, excuse me, data weight cases. I'm going to weight cases by count. So you always weight cases by this count variable. Since this is summary data, we're going to weight cases by count so we can get the get the results that we need, and then click on OK. And then SPSS tells us in our output that we weight cases by count. The last two things I want to mention here is how to do pie charts and bar charts. Okay, so first pie charts, I'm going to, and I did this earlier, but I'll do it again. I'll, I'll do graphs, legacy dialogue, and what was I'll do pie charts first. So graphs, legacy dialogue, pie charts. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to define slices by the yes no variable, which is PTC. Okay, and then I'm going to take the gender variable and I'm going to stick it in the columns box. So we're going to have two pie charts side by side, one for each gender. So they click on OK then you have two pie charts. You can double click on the graph here, get into the chart editor, click on elements, show data labels, so we have percentages. And then if you want counts, you go and the properties window automatically pops up. You can click on count, click on this green up arrow here, click on apply, and then you have the counts here. And I'll just exit out of this so you can get, so you can see what you'll have. And you can paste this in your homework assignment. And then the next item is uh, uh, bar graphs, or bar charts, so I'm going to go to bar instead. I'll just click on define, just by default it's a simple bar chart. And so I'm going to take PTC and put it under category axis here. And I'm going to take gender and also put it out under column as well. So it's a similar structure to what you saw in the pie chart, how you do pie charts. And so, but we just put the gender, the grouping variable down below, PTC, which is a yes no variable here. And then we click on OK. And then have two bar charts. If I double click on the chart, we click on elements, show data labels, and then right now we just have now they're switched just like what you saw earlier with one proportion. That with pie charts, by default the percentage comes first, so you have to put up the count if you want it. And then it's just the opposite for bar charts where the counts automatically come up when you when you show data labels. So if we want to include percents, we put that under in the properties window, we put that up here. And then we click on apply, and then you can see over here the percentages are shown as well. Okay, and that is it. And that concludes the supplementary video dealing with SPSS for two proportions.